Hello everybody. On today's video I'm going to show you how you can copy your own storybook files onto a Kindle reader and I'm going to show you how to do that both on one of the original Kindle readers and uh, on one of the newer uh, Kindle Fire tablets. The process is pretty much the same for both of those devices and what I know from talking to some of you is that um, some people are just uncomfortable at the thought of managing their Kindle connected to a computer and they're worried that something might go wrong and they might break their Kindle. Um, you can't do that. Um, it's absolutely um, a, a very simple process. And I know in, in some cases as well, people just don't know how, how to do it. And we all get really used to Amazon delivering books to us through WhisperNet, which is nice and simple. And it's just a couple more steps of complication to do it manually for ourselves. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you how to do it on one of the original Kindle readers and uh, all you need to do is to connect the Kindle using a USB cable to your PC. Um, I've just done that and on my computer Windows opened up for Drive D called Kindle and crucially the folder that we're looking for uh, is the one called Documents and that's where all your book files are stored. And if you open that up, you can just have a look to see what's in there. Right, so that's all our books. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load on to this Kindle uh, a story from my own website. It's in my Megaplex series and it's called In The Web. And a Kindle reader can um, read Mobi format files. So here's In The Web, Mobi file. And I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into the documents folder on that Kindle reader and it's done that and if I open up that documents folder now we'll see my story file in there and there it is in the web Lee Russell Moby. If I just now close those windows crucially on one of the older Kindle readers you need to go down onto the systems tray and find this safely remove hardware button and eject that Kindle before you can unplug it and it says it's in use I'm just going to OK that Maybe it needed a couple more seconds and there we go. Now it says it can be safely ejected. So you do need to do that before unplugging the cable. And now having done that, here's my book in the web and it's loaded onto that Kindle reader. Now doing that on a Kindle Fire is the same process. So here's my Kindle Fire. I'm going to plug in the USB. It's been recognised. The window's opened up. It's my Fire. Now the difference on one of these Fire tablets is that the document structure, the folder list, is more complicated, but crucially for us, the folder we want is still there and it's called Documents. So again, I'm going to pick up that story folder, my story in the web, the Mobi file, and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it into the Documents folder. That will already have finished and in the web Mobi, there it is. That's good. Close the windows. Now the difference with the Kindle Fire is there's no uh, icon on the tray down here to eject it. You don't need to do that. Once the copy, copying process is finished, you can just unplug the Kindle Fire, which I've done, and then on the Fire you'll find the book that you've just loaded in the books list uh, if you navigate to that and there it is coming up on mine. So the process, very, very simple, and I hope today you found that helpful, um, and see you soon. Bye for now.